For more on the Ed Snowden scandal, we turn to Vladimir Putin. And Trust.org is reporting, Putin says Snowden should stop harming our American partners. And I think this story is very valuable in illustrating a point that's often made by libertarians about governments in general, about the nature of, of governments, and that as, uh, you know, protective protection rackets, they don't want uh, any, anybody to muscle in on, on their monopolies, really, they, or, or, you know, within their various geographic areas. And there is a, a back and forth. And we know that, you know, war is a racket, poor men dying in rich men's wars. And we haven't had wars that significantly changed the global map in a long time, because it's more like a bunch of people sitting around at a poker game, right? And this is this is the analogy that I hear used. And and if 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 someone cheats in the poker game, you know, they, they they deal with it civilly and they keep they'll do what it takes to keep the poker game going. You know, they'll they'll there'll be some legitimate risks and gambles and interplay between the players. But if anybody from outside of the game comes and tries to point out what it is or threatens its existence, everybody at that table comes together, circles the wagons, and shoots any threat that comes up. And so you would think that, that, that based on that, you know, a foreign government could go one of two ways in regards to Edward Snowden. They could say, yep, that's really great that there's a whistleblower coming out calling the American government to account for its actions. Or they could say, oh, that's that's a really bad thing. Uh, Edward Snowden's a criminal. The American government should hunt him down. No government should help him out because uh, governments are, are necessary and the things they do are essential to keeping their citizens safe. And if you have people like Snowden making it impossible for them to keep secrets, then those people aren't going to be safe. President Vladimir Putin said on Monday that Russia would not hand former U.S. spy agency contractor Edward Snowden over to the United States, but... That if Snowden wants to stay in Russia, he, quote, must stop his work aimed at harming our American partners. So they're trying to split the difference on this. So you see, you see both incentives recognized here. Snowden is not a Russian agent, Putin said, repeating that Russian intelligence services were not working with the fugitive American who is believed to remain in the transit area at a Moscow airport eight days after arriving from Hong Kong. He said Snowden should choose his final destination and go there. But he should stop harming our American partners. And that really reveals the true colors of the Russian government. Oh yes, very red, just like Obama and the rest of the American government. No, they, they're harming our American partners. That's right, they, they are partners in statism. They are partners in crime. They've got their part of the racket, they've got their part of the racket, and they don't want anybody to threaten the broader racket of statism that says Edward Snowden must be a criminal because he is harming the American government by telling the truth about what it's doing. Under under a voluntary society, you can have that, you know, but we can't have our system. It's two years away from 50% plus of Americans supporting legalizing marijuana. I told him, this is the message that people live and die for. 